Hi everybody, I am Sherry Christensen and I am Joan's partner in the Negative Positives Double Exposure Tag Team Challenge. So, um, I live in Alberta, Canada in a very small farming community, very different from Joan and it's like she's like this really super talented fashion portrait photographer and I'm a landscape photographer so we're very very different in the background you can probably see some of the area that I shoot in yeah so I, once again I apologize I'm not good at video so I was the first shooter and I chose the can you see that Canon Elan 2 and on the front I have the 35 to 105 f4 lens now that's perfect for landscape because you can go wide or you can zoom in a little bit right and you don't need a super fast lens for landscape because everything is like f8 f16 that area so this lens is perfect for uh, landscape and it should make a good mix for portraits too it might make a really interesting background uh, we chose Ektar 100 so we rated it at 200 and shot away now Joan has no idea what's on the roll nothing is planned it's total surprise so should be interesting I'm really looking forward to it anyway uh, back to Joan bye so this video is the negative positives podcast double exposure challenge that's like a tongue twister all together it's their second year doing it I didn't participate the first year and it's the first time I've ever heard about it and so when I saw a post about it I was like oh this sounds fun like I want to do something that's like outside of school and <laughs> just you know something that's just like out of the norm for me because i feel like everything that i shoot is like very planned out and for once it was like something that really was very experimental and something i've just never done before so i'm going to read what this challenge is about because i don't want to mess it up so pretty much the first person shoots the roll of film and then once they're done they send it off to the second shooter and the second shooter pretty much um, shoots the same roll again and then develops and scans it and then pretty much you share it amongst each other and then pick your favorites and then um, afterwards it sh it, the, your selections will be um, in a zine which is pretty cool so you got the option to pick a partner who is like domestically or international and so I chose like I just didn't care I didn't have a preference in who my partner would be and so my partner ended up becoming Sherry which is like a small world because we both joined this like female photographer film Facebook group and then I reached out to her because I looked at her website and then I was very curious on like what she is like currently working on and then we were already talking through email and then when I got an email which let me knew it notified me like who my partner was it was her and then I was just like wow what a really small world like how the universe puts us together when we were already in contact um, we never met I had no clue what roll of film she was what film stock she was going to use I didn't know what she was going to photograph but I've seen her previous work was pretty much um, a lot of landscapes she is based in Alberta Canada and um, I live in the States, really right close to um, New York City. So it's interesting because I had no clue what she photographed. And then when I got the role of XTAR 100, I think, she, I believe she shot it in iOS, um, ASA, oh man, 200. The film in my camera, I used the Canon 1V, which is pretty much, it looks like a Canon DSLR, but then you can, and you can use your EF lenses, but it's a film camera. And then afterwards, um, I just went to um, Manhattan and then just 
photograph whatever intrigued me and i felt like you know honestly i had no clue what she photographed so then pretty much i just you know went on a whim and just photographed whatever and then um it actually i th you know the thing about film is like i don't like wasting film in a day because it's like sometimes you just don't see things that are interesting and i i just don't want to shoot to shoot so i actually took two days uh two different days and i photographed um and tried to you know do the best that i can to finish the role in time because i wanted to share the images with her and then you know we could talk about it and when i um developed the film and then I scanned it myself. Um, it was interesting because when you scan the film, it's not like by frame by frame as usual. Like the scanner, it took it was hard for it to detect the frames. So I would have to look at the entire roll and then just decipher what was the frame. Um, and that was just because I based it off what I shot. But then technically, like I could have cropped it in her frame also. So there's just different variables in how to do this and with double exposure it's like you just never know so it's like you could interpret it the whole point of looking at double exposure is how you interpret it there's no like certain like specific meaning um, in how to look at anything so that was that i mean i honestly think it's such a fun challenge because like you get to collaborate with people that you've never met and it's something that you guys both you know have interest in and then you guys get to create something really cool and interesting i'm just lucky that i had a partner that was easy to communicate with and the fact that she was just easy going and it was just like one two three like you know she shot the role sent it over and then you know we communicated you know throughout the weeks about stuff and then you know here we are now and you get to see how the photos came out and the whole shebang so there you go um i'm going to do my best to post videos every sunday now that school's you know in summer session and then um you can expect that and i'm just really really grateful for everyone who has been a part of this channel because it means a lot because like even though I'm in school, like I would get notifications of people who still comment my videos or like watch or subscribe. And you know, even though I'm not as active, I just, it just means a lot because I created this channel just to share with everybody like what I do and what I learn. And I always feel like it can always either inspire somebody or answer a question that they have that, you know, they just can't ask anyone and then for some reason my video just showcases it so thanks again and stay tuned to the next video